The French defense minister has stressed her administration's commitment to fighting the spread of Islamic extremism in Africa's Sahel region. Florence Parley's comment comes just days after insurgents killed 49 Malayan soldiers stationed at a remote outpost in the country's east side. It was the most devastating attack on the fragile Bamako government's forces in recent years. Here with more on this is RT's Charlotte Dubinsky. Seven years of bloodshed and violence isn't just continuing in Mali, some say it's worsening. In recent weeks, attacks have been increasing, with Islamic State claiming responsibility. Another casualty of the mounting violence is France. French troops have been stationed in Mali, a former colony, for years. Le Sahel. The Sahel, from now on, will account for 50% of our budget for international security and cooperation, because this is where the security of the African continent, and more generally, the security of a good part of our planet, Europe included, is being threatened. France has been leading the charge after Mali was split in two in 2012 by Islamists who declared Sharia law in the north of the country. It deployed troops to the region in 2013, but despite initial promise, jihadists have regrouped and they've spread. Violence has spilled over into neighboring countries, Burkina Faso and Niger. Now, despite repeated commitments from President Macron to shore up the fragile region, he's just not been able to stabilize the Malian government. And the number of attacks has doubled since 2016. Despite that, France is intent on staying in the Sahel. Our commitment to the Sahel is and remains a priority for France. We will take time to defeat these groups who thrive on the social and economic difficulties of the Sahel region. As the violence spreads across Mali, the failure of the French and UN troops to keep a lid on it is stirring other tensions. Malian military families have complained that the army is not being given sufficient resources to fight the insurgency. That's led to protests not just to denounce terrorism, but also the presence of foreign troops. Patience for military progress is wearing thin. Some groups are calling for a change of tack, advocating opening up dialogue with the jihadists. That's something France has previously ruled out. So too have Mali's top officials. But with the current impasse, a new solution is needed, or the death toll is likely to only rise. Charlotte Dubinsky, RT, Paris.